Hey, welcome back everyone. It is time for another Red Hot Cover Call video. Well, that's right. We're back behind the mic. Absolutely jacked that this market is moving higher. I absolutely love it. It's actually playing out the way I told you it would. All of my stocks that I'm down on are moving higher. And I was able to write a covered call on one of the stocks I'm down on. And I'll tell you what, that trade's gonna become profitable. Absolutely vindication that what I'm doing and how I use selling premium and my mindset right? I have a little different mindset when it comes to trading and it's panning out right now. I'm going to tell you about that uh, today. Now, before we get going, remember last video, I asked you to give me the 200 likes. Well, you did that. And I promised you a video on three more stocks that I use for the wheel trade, cherry picking, cash secure put, and the cash secure put cover call straddle. I love, I got three for you. Now, I'm going to give you two volatile stocks, great companies, but volatile and for you salty dog cover call writers and you retirees that want that steady eddy trade, well, I got a big boy for you. We're going to talk about it. I use them all. Now, hey, look, before we get going, if you like anything you hear today, I want you to subscribe to the channel. It's right there and it's free. I come back every week, give you timely and relevant covered call and cash secure put trades. I show you the world through my eyes. I'm the guy in the mirror trying to motivate you to get in the game, right? We want to get our education. We want to get in the game so we have a chance to make real, real cash flow in retirement. And hey, look, if you like this video today, bang that like button. It lets me know you like what I'm doing. Now, what I'm doing is this. I want to remind everybody, if you sign up for the free newsletter, you're going to get a free newsletter. I send out, I send out a newsletter every once in a while. And I, I'm dialing that up right now. And that newsletter is 100% free. I don't sell you nothing. I just want you to get a little more closer to this game. Go to my website, cpt-dashboard.com. Click free newsletter. Just give me your email. I don't spam you. All I want you to do is get in the game. I want you to get a little closer to the covered call cash secure put strategy. That's what we do here. Everything I do and talk about on this channel is selling premium centric. Okay. Every email I send to my members, it's about how they can use selling premium to make money. Okay. That's what excites me. And uh, I know that's what excites you because you want to be like me knocking down some $360,000 cash on the table over the past five years. And yes, I can prove all of that. Let's go ahead and get to those three stocks that I use for the wheel, cherry picking cash secure put plays, and using a covered call with a cash secure put simultaneously, knock it down. Now we're going to start off with the wheel, okay? Now, if you don't know what the wheel is, it's a very popular strategy where what we do is we pick a stock that we want to own, right? All the rules apply, but instead of buying the stock, we're going to sell a cash secure put and we're going to collect premium money on the table on our very first trade. Then what we're hoping to do is obtain the shares. We want that person to give us their share. So we, so we collect premium on the first trade. We then are assigned the shares so we can do it again. Writing a covered call. We collect premium on every leg of this trade. That's why they call it the wheel, the wheel of profit. Now, for you retirees, and by the way, I'm creating a retirement corner at the membership. I'm always trying to up the game on the membership. And what I'm doing is creating a retirement income centric area with the membership. In fact, uh, this is one where a lot of people email me saying, John, I just want to create those 30 day trades that keeps the lights on, right? Pays the bills, giving me the opportunity to live in retirement without having a part-time job. Hey, that's what I love to do. You know, that's what this channel is about. It's an experiment in retirement. Can I use my portfolio to generate real cash flow in retirement? So at the membership, I'm creating a retirement centric corner. Every single post will talk about selling premium in retirement. They're going to be great stocks like I'm about to mention right now, stocks that I use all the time. So number one, wheel trade. The idea here is we want to find a great stock. We'd love that stock to be in a down cycle, meaning it's gone up, it's gone down, up, down. We want to get involved when it's more down than up. So we use the Keltner channel, 
right? We're going to use that Keltner Channel midline because that's when we want to start getting involved with our favorite stocks. Now, this is an email I sent to the members about 3M. Now, I'm watching 3M right now for a wheel trade. Now, what I want you to notice here is this. Let me bring up my pen. Now, I talk about this all the time. What we're looking for is that beautiful support line. And hey, look, 3M is dancing off that support line. Now, you have to know 3M's business. 3M does not have growth. And in fact, a lot of people question its dividend, but they've been questioning that dividend for five years. 3M has products on every shelf around the globe. So for me, it fits the criteria of a giant S&P 500 type company, pays a fat dividend. So I want to be involved in companies like this because Wall Street comes back to these stocks. Okay, you could poo poo the fact when I say Wall Street comes back to these stocks. But in the case of 3M, you could see Wall Street loves 3M. And I'm telling you now, I think they're going to come back to it. So I want to be a part of it now. So what I'm going to do with the wheel trade is this. Now, understand, I'm using these kind of stocks for a wheel trade. Cummins, 3M, AbbVie, Visa, JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs. The reason is because if I'm going to obtain the shares with the idea I'm going to do a wheel trade where I want to obtain the shares, I'm going to take on that risk. So what I want to do here is make sure rule number one, I want to own this sucker. And if I get stuck with the stock that I want to own it, you know, I could bring up the chart on Cummins right now where I, where I thought Cummins was going to base like right around here and it just fell off the table. Now it's rallying a little bit. But the point is, I dialed it up perfectly, thought it was perfect. I actually got into the game with Cummins and it fell a little bit. So here we are. I'm holding this stock. So criteria number one better have been met and it was with Cummins. But let me talk about 3M for a second. Why I love 3M is this. One, they have such a broad product base around the globe. 3M is everywhere. Now they don't have growth. So what that means is this. They're just going to move up and down, up and down, and it, they're going to be ready. Range bound. Now, my take is this with them. We start a wheel trade with 3M. What I love to do is this. If I'm going to start a wheel trade, it's got to be the one week, right? So say it's Monday. I want to go ahead and own some shares. So I'm going to sell the one strike in the money or an at the money, depending where it's trading in the trading cycle. So today, 3M is trading for 193x. So if I'm going to do a Friday cash secure put to start the wheel, I'm probably going to come in and look for that 194. I want to do the 194, maybe even the 194.50. So what does that mean? I'm giving somebody the right, but not the obligation to assign me their shares at 194. The stock's trading at 193, 193x. That's what it means to be in the money. They are already in the money because I'm going to give them $194. Does not mean I'll be assigned the shares. 3M could actually trade and get above 194. And uh, now they're not going to give me the shares at 194 when they're trading higher on Wall Street. I mean, they could just sell them and make more money. But here's the key. We're giving ourselves the best opportunity to obtain the shares while collecting a decent premium. Because when you sell these one strike in the money premiums, you know, you get a nice premium. Now I know some of that option is intrinsic value, but it's not much. It's a great start for a wheel trade. And I'll tell you what, with 3M, that is one that I'm looking to do a wheel trade right now. Now here's another email that I sent. Pinterest. I own 500 shares of Pinterest. I bought it at 77 doing the exact thing I'm about to talk about right now. I love cherry picking cash secure puts. And what that means is this, the stock has been beaten down for the day and there is a great chance it's going to go higher the next day or over the next week. Love coming in. The downward pressure is just pushing the stock down, right? Those put premiums are going to be high on that day. I told a story where I think with Roku, the stock was down 20 bucks. I did a 30 day cash secure put at the money and got like 20 bucks. Unbelievable when the volume is down for a stock on a day, man, you can generate some serious opportunities. What I love to do with this, is I love to pick that great stock that uh, quite frankly, just keeps going higher. And the story around the stock is of growth. Wall Street keeps coming back to the stock. Every time they beat the stock down, they come back to it. These are just indicators for me that I have to have. 
I have to see that Wall Street comes back to the stock. Pinterest is great for this. Look, I've said this before. Pinterest does not have competition. Pinterest has that great business model, dovetails perfectly with all those other sites like Etsy and, and all those sites where people love to be creative, right? And I told you that Pinterest is a verb stock now. Like I'm walking around a neighborhood and we see, we see something super cool. And uh, I say to my wife, Hey, we got a Pinterest at when stocks become a verb stock that becomes very powerful because like I've told you before, zoom, Google, Zillow, when a stock becomes a verb stock like that, usually that means good things. And in the case of Pinterest, their stock has rallied from in the fifties when I first started watching it to as high as some $87. Now recently, uh, wall street has peeled it back. So looking at the chart, when they sold off Pinterest at 87, that was coming out of earnings. And for me, I just thought that that was a great opportunity to get involved because they had rallied it hard. I mean, look at that hard rally right there, peeled it off and look at it bounce. It's bouncing right there. And then we get some news. Uh, it wasn't favorable news. Wall Street just did not have the patience. They let it peel off. And that NASDAQ sell-off, remember that NASDAQ sell-off that happened about a month ago? Well, guess what? They get caught up in it selling all the fluff. Well, now we're moving away from that NASDAQ sell-off and look what they did. They came back to Pinterest in a big way. Absolutely love sticking with pins. I have 500 shares. I have a cost basis of 77. It's now trading above 76. I've been able to write calls on my 77 shares. But understand, I love these kind of stocks when the markets get trashed or we get a little bit of bad news. Now, let me explain what the cherry pick and cash secure put is. The idea is this, the stock is getting worked. That downward put pressure is causing all of those put premiums to be jacked up. So I wanna make sure I wanna own this stock on those days. It's more likely that the stock is going to rally off of that just a little bit, right? Sellers have gone, value seekers are back in the game and they're gonna move it a little bit higher. On these nasty down days, you can get some 10 to 12% in just straight premium. Look, my goal with the cash secure put is to try to get three to 4%. I really like 5%, but on these days, I'm telling you, man, you can get up to 12%. And what I love to do, this is what I do all the time. Say I get $7 for a uh, cash secure put, Pinterest is getting pounded and the markets are just absolutely working against us. Well, I get $7, I sell the 30 day out of the money, cash secure put, giving this 30 days to recover, right? If the stock is trading under support, I'm using that Keltner channel mid or bottom line, that's when I wanna get involved in a stock. Right? I don't want to get involved when it's at the top of the line. You could see at the top of the line, we'd be screwed. What I want to do then, sell that cash secure put. Everybody's grabbing that put premium. I pony up the money to buy somebody's shares. 30 days. The reason I do 30 days on these cherry picking cash secure put trades is this. And do understand, this is a directional trade. Okay, understand that I am playing a directional play. The market is pounding everybody. I believe there's gonna be a settling point and it's gonna go higher. The $7 will start to erode as it gets away from the at the money strike. So this $7 turns into five, turns into four, turns into three. I have used the cherry pick and cash secure put to pick up almost all of this premium as I played the directional move in the stock, uh, getting paid $7, $10, $15, using stocks that I use for this strategy. And I'll tell you what, all I wanted to do is move higher off of that strike price and then I buy it back, buy it back. If I get $7 in put premium and it's now trading $3, I buy it back for $3. I keep the $4, we look to do it again. This is a more active strategy for me. I call it a cherry pick and cash secure put for a reason. It's a momentum trade. It's a trade. It has jacked up put premiums. And I'll tell you what, it's been very successful for me over the past five years. Remember I did that video where in one day using Roku, I made an $8 premium. And the very next day, the markets rallied heavy. That $8 premium eroded all the way down to 30 something cents by the time the market opened up the next day. Hey, we have to see these sell-offs as opportunities. And if you get to that point in your trading, that is when you separate yourself from being good to being great. 
Now, I want to remind everybody that if they go to cptdashboard.com, click Upgraded Dashboard, I have one free month for you. If you like anything you're hearing today, this is what we talk about at the membership. I don't know if you know this, but I have an entire Stock Talk series over at the membership. And now I have a weekly talking stock ideas video. I already posted up last week. We talked about Cummins, Coca-Cola, and Advy. We're going to do that every week. If you go over there, I got a one free month offer. Just click right there. Get your one free month. And I'd love to welcome you aboard. Man, I'll tell you what, the best thing I ever did was let people into my world, let people see my world. And I'll tell you why, because it has given me a level of accountability. When I send out an email, I don't just willy nilly uh, put a stock ticker on a list with no commentary. Everything I do, I'm accountable for. If I talk about a stock or if I'm trading a stock and I'm sharing it with members, because I know there's people out there watching what I do. I've been successful at this. That's not an ego trip. I just know that people want to follow my trades. That's why I show my real-time trades. I give commentary and always, always trying to up your game with all those emails I send. Now let's go ahead and get to this last one here. My final stock here is uh, Redfin. Absolutely love Redfin largely because a lot of people want to trade some stocks that are under 100 bucks. I get it. You don't have a large bankroll. So if we're going to use the covered call with the cash secure put, you got to have 200 shares, right? So a stock that's trading for three, four, five hundred dollars $500, well, you got to have some serious coin to be using them for this strategy. What I love to do is this. I love to buy a stock at the bottom of the Keltner Channel cycle. I believe it's going to go higher, right? That's my thought. So let's say I want 300 shares of Redfin, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leg in. See, this I've learned this over the years, man. I just don't throw all my money in on the 300 shares day one. What I do is this. I go in, I buy the 100 shares, I write the covered call. So let's just use this Redfin chart right here. Say I wanna uh, get involved in Redfin right here because Redfin is peeling off. I like the support. I'm gonna go with it. I want 300 shares of Redfin. The very first thing I do is I do 100. Then I write the, the out of the money covered call. Okay, now I'm gonna watch this. Now remember, I want 300 shares and I am willing to buy them at this price. So the next thing I do, I do the cash secure put right here at the money so i get max premium by doing the 30 day covered call on the 100 shares i bought for a stock like redfin i'm probably going to get three bucks let's just say it's three bucks that cash secure put is going to pay me three bucks so now i have 200 shares committed right i have 100 shares i wrote the covered call now i'm going to sell the at the money cash secure put i've committed 200 shares right i've kept back the money for 100 shares now again I have a plan, I'm gonna execute the plan. Say Redfin falls. Redfin falls and all of a sudden I'm gonna be assigned the shares, right? Well, I have a plan. The covered call premium, because it fell, right? This is gonna to go to nothing. Pocket $3 right there. Now I'm gonna be assigned the shares, but with it now trading at possibly its new support, I sell that cash secure put there, picking up potentially three to four dollars, and I say $4 because now the stock has more selling pressure. And now the hopes, the 100% hopes is that it's just going to go higher and I may not be assigned the shares. And then I can buy the stock back where I originally was going to buy 300 shares. And then I rate the 30 day covered call for all 300 shares. And now we have used the covered call and cash secure put in conjunction to get the shares where I wanted them, potentially buy some shares where I wanted them. And of course, if the stock fell, I buy that last hundred shares even cheaper. Using the covered call and the cash secure put is a great opportunity to collect premium on both sides because you feel like if the stock goes higher, right, that cash secure put folds, you go ahead and keep all that premium. If the stock goes down, the covered call premium folds and you still have your shares. Yes, you're gonna get another 100 shares, but if you're playing a great stock that's trading in its range, you're gonna be okay, at least. That's how I see it and that's how I trade stocks like this when I use the cover call and cash secure put straddle. Now I'm gonna leave it there. Go back to my website, free newsletter. The reason I want you to sign up for the free newsletter is I'm giving away five, yes, five free memberships. I did it last week. And if you notice in the video last week, I told 
all of the subscribers of the newsletter to post something in the comments. I would recognize that comment. I put their names in a hat and I'm going to pull out the winners of last week's free membership contest. So I want you to go to my website, click free newsletter, give me your email address. Again, I don't spam you. You're going to get a free newsletter in the month of July. Hey, look, be safe, be healthy. Most important, be lucky. Until next time, may all your covered calls be profitable.